Hi right, guys, um, as we're going out of 2017 into 2018, I just want to do a year in review sort of thing. For me, it's been quite an interesting year um, in the sense of we're now firmly grounded in Spain, which was something that took a lot longer than I expected. Um, but we're now moving forward. We're Financially, we're doing okay. Um, we're sort of expanding things out at the minute and hoping that some of the stuff I've done in the last couple of months will all pay dividends during January, um, which will help us expand out with some of the other stuff we want to do. Um, so from that point of view, things are pretty good. Um, it's been a difficult year, and we, I lost my father-in-law as well, so that's been quite a difficult time um, because, bizarrely, it was the weekend I went home uh, to Spain that my mother passed away and obviously we've been away from the Philippines for a bit now um, so it's it's been quite difficult in that sense that we weren't there during those hard times um, but the positive side of this is April's mother's passports now sorted her birth certificate sorted and we're now in the realms of sorting the visas out so that she can actually travel over to Spain um, so we're getting there. I mean, this is the thing. A lot of people assume it's a bit like TV world where you just magically click your fingers and it's done within the 30 minutes. These are bureaucratic offices and embassies. So nothing takes time longer than these places on the planet. Um, you're dealing with people that process birth certificates. They want everything this certain way in a certain order and you just have to go with the flow. They don't speed things up. Normally, if you actually put some pressure on them, they do the opposite. So we'll get there. Um, and I, I want to thank the trolls that have managed to still hang around. Um, I just want to point something out to them that they may not be aware of. You know when you do a thumbs down, it's just as good as putting a thumbs up. Any interaction is good for YouTube. And you guys spend so much time following this channel, even when... There's a lot of videos that some other people couldn't be bothered with. You still managed to log in just to view it, just to thumbs down it. So really appreciate that. Um, but joking aside, I can't understand why some of these guys are still around. I mean, I noticed um, Frank reappeared. Now, I've had virtually no engagement with Frank whatsoever, but he seemed to log in just to create some sort of, uh, well, I suppose you hope to get an argument out of me. I can't be bothered. Uh, same with Peter's logged in, similar thing. I can't be bothered. Um, you guys, go and do your own thing. But I, as I said before to people, if you want to make money on YouTube, the Philippines genre is not the one. The, there is better genres out there. Um, there is people I've talked to over this year that have actually took it on board and have done quite well out of it. Um I'll be honest with you, if I actually said how much I earn through my online presence, it's, it's in the thousands a month. It's, it's not in the hundreds, it's in the thousands. Um, I'm not just talking AdSense or that because I'm not allowed to do that because it's part of the terms and conditions. You're not supposed to discuss what you're earning, etc. But it's not from the Philippines genre. But I would actually say my Philippines videos, although I'm not producing that many, is probably still making more money than some other people make on their channels because of the content. It's not supposed to be arguing with people. It's like with the cost of living, is to actually set their benchmark to say, you can live on $500. And then other people go, you can't live on $500. And somebody goes, I need 1000 And then someone says, I can live on 300 The point is you set a benchmark for that discussion. But you, you're sort of saying, this is possible. I'm not saying it's comfortable. I'm not saying it's like living the dream or whatever. It's the benchmark of the absolute minimum from my point of view. And that's where some people just seem to want to argue. But at the same time, I really don't care. It, the whole point is, is to share information and the argument side of it whether you can live on more live on less that's entirely up to you you live a different lifestyle um i mean it's like over the last few weeks 
Um, I spent thousands of euros for the Christmas period. Um, I bought gifts for people not only here but in the Philippines. I've also done some charity stuff that I haven't promoted or talked about. But for me, that's that's a personal thing. You know, I'm not here to make money off charitable donations or anything else. I'm not asking for donations. Um, I just like helping people where I can. Um, but at the same time, I do want to say that people that are actually pushing for so to make money off it where very little will actually reach the people or they're just just exploiting people I'm not I'm not a fan of at all um, if somebody actually approached me I often get people approach me for different things and said Matt this kid needs this or whatever I'll seriously have a look at it you know, at the end of the day, I'm very aware of how many of these scams are out there. I'm very well aware that a child needing a wheelchair may actually have the money from four different people that pay for four wheelchairs, but three of the balance, financial balances disappear. Welcome to the Philippines. Sponsoring kids in schools. We've offered to donate um, sponsorship to kids before and then found out that the headmaster, headmistress, headmistress, yeah, it was a headmistress, uh, well, let's just call him principal, let's go the American way, um, had actually turned around and said to the parents that they must pay 50% as well. Now, bear in mind, we've already paid for it. There is no reason for those parents to pay at all because we know they financially can't support their children. That's the whole point of this. Um, but the school wants to pocket another 50%, even though we've paid for all the fees and everything else. That stuff goes on in the Philippines. The recent event relating to, um, there's an event, I haven't put the videos up, there is some videos for it. The kids went to the uh, SM Seaside in Cebu. Um, they're from special education. Went there before the mall opened so the kids could actually go in the, the ball pits, you know, the play areas and stuff. And there was a counselor that actually turned up and was there to give the donations of somebody else, but didn't miss the photo opportunities to try and get everybody in there as if she was actually funding it, supporting it, and everything else, yet she didn't even bring her own donation. It was someone else's. That's the reality. YouTube begging is no better. Um, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I hate it. I hate it. If you're going to do something, just do it. That's the way I look at it. And somebody mentioned somebody recently was asking for some money uh, for for somebody. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't even buy to that argument because the guy you're talking about financially doesn't need the money. Um, he's got a very, very good pension from his um, military service. So although you're trying to instigate some sort of argument, don't waste your time. I'm not even going to bite on it because, quite simply, I know he isn't even taking the money for it. So... Leave it at that. Um, but this is the problem I get in the Philippines, genre. Too many people bickering over things. I mean, I do get it here in Spain as well. Um, predominantly from the Brits, it's normally some of the older, older people that are just looking for something to do on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, just wanting to argue about something. And then you get the Spanish that... Very, I mean, it's only a minority of the Spaniards, but they're just anti-British anyway. Um, but the majority of Spanish are fine, which is why I don't even get into these racial arguments that even the Spanish have the issues of. Um, because quite simply, it's counterproductive. All the trolling stuff, counterproductive. And if anything, I would say out of 2017 into 2018, and if you're carrying something yourself forward is don't waste your time on these efforts that are not going to produce anything. Um, I know myself and Jay uh, have moved on to doing other stuff together. Um, we're not actually working together, we're sort of doing similar things. Um, but at the same time, the, the whole point is that networking and discussing things and going through things um, has helped both parties. 
We also expanded it out with a few other people that have been interested in similar things. Here in Spain, there is another opportunity coming up. I'm hoping the cash flow comes in that I'm owed right now because I'm, I'm owed quite a large amount of money at the moment um, to fund a new project for the next year that will actually be quite an interesting and entertaining one. Um, I'll probably end up with its own channel all going well, but it's looking at an initial investment of around 28,000 euros. So I'm hoping some of this cash comes in that I'm owed currently. If it does, then I'll go ahead and I'll talk about it when it happens. But right now, I'm in the middle of waiting for a lot of payments to come in for stuff I've been doing over the last four or five months. Um, from a family point of view, I've got to admit, this year it's been quite difficult for uh, April, you know, because uh, she worries about her mother back out in the Philippines. And obviously we we're hoping to have her over before Christmas and we have all the legislation issues and the need to spelling mistakes and all this nonsense with official documentation. You would think with it being so important, they would get it right first time, but hey-ho. That's why the whole red ribbon thing exists in the Philippines. Um, so she was a bit worried about her mum over Christmas because uh, obviously it's the first year that her mother's without her father. Well, April's without her father and April's mother without her husband. Um, but it, it seems to have a good enough Christmas anyway, but I'm looking forward to getting April's mother over um, during the start of next year which will also prompt my trip back to the Philippines that people could be asking me about. I will be heading back there. It's just a case of things have got to be done in the right order. Um, April's mother coming here is more important than me going out to the Philippines right now. Um, I did offer April to go out to the Philippines in November uh, just to go out there for a month, but she didn't want me here on my own with the kids. Um, she'll be worried about me. The kids not, well, you know, I know, uh, I mean, I'm quite capable of looking after kids, but, it, you know, what mothers can be like. They assume that all, all the world's going to break loose if, you, if, you're, if they're not around. So um, we'll wait and see. I mean, at the end of the day, the main thing for me is April's mother over here. And if we can drive down into um, the Vatican, heading to Italy, I would love to do that uh, for April's mother. Um, obviously, April would want to do that as well. Um, but may even end up in Lord do something, something that is a lifelong thing for April's mother. That's important for me. You probably notice I'm more concerned about other people than myself. That's just the way I am. Um, I've always been like that. Um, it's not a, I think it's more down to the fact that I'm generally okay. I mean, at the moment I'm recovering from the flu, which is why my voice sounds quite deep and I've got a small glass of red wine here, um, which is helping stop me cough right now. Um, but <coughs> as I said that, let me have a quick sip of this. Uh, yeah. Um, but for me, the importance is I'm always fairly content. I'm, I've been self-sufficient and very capable of looking after myself even from a very young child, in my childhood. I've been fairly independent my entire life. So I actually get more um, fulfillment and happiness out of other people being happy because I generally don't need anything. I'm pretty content, you know. It's like the kids. You know, when I see the kids happy with the Christmas stuff, when I see they're doing well at school, seeing how Zoe is evolving, um, because obviously with Zoe having autism, she was non-verbal for a long time. And now she's talking and stuff like that. It's, it's quite an important thing. You know, that, that's more important to me. The kids' well-being. April being happy. April being content. April having friends here now. The funny thing is, April was not really that bothered if she meets up with other people from the Philippines or not. But the reality is, she's got friends around here um they're all filipinos um they're all good people even going into the garden center we bumped into somebody that was from the philippines from the next town you know we're because obviously we're mingling and they're from talise and it's like 
how far, how many thousands of miles away and you bump into somebody from the next town? And then it's all this case of, oh, I'll introduce you with more people. And you just end up with this growing ball of friendship. And I'll have to say people like Andreas and Igor and other friends that we have are absolutely fantastic friends. And all the people I know through the internet and everything else, a lot of you guys, very good people. And I'm very thankful for having all the people that I do have and know. Um, I know uh, not everybody has a great time all the time. Uh, somebody asked me to talk about depression. Well, I'm not going to do that on this video, but um, I will discuss depression on another video because um, I know some people talk to me when, when they're not feeling their best, and I, I'm quite happy to listen to people when they're having a down day or whatever. Um, but the main thing is being happy, being content, enjoying life, getting the most out of life, seeing that you're getting the most out of life, making sure you're not missing anything. If you're doing that, then you're happy, you're content, you've got what you want in life, you've got what you should have in life. Don't believe everything you watch on TV. Not everybody needs a house the size of four houses. Not everybody needs two cars and this, that and the other. The main thing is being happy, it's being content, is having the life you want to do, doing things you like doing, having a job you like doing, which isn't always easy. But if you can work towards all that stuff, you're having a great life. And always remember, you're a lot better off than a lot of others already. If you've got your, both your eyes, both your arms, both your legs, you're in a better position than a lot of others already. And even if you've lost one of those, you're still in a better position than many others. So just be, I'd say thankful for what you got, but be content with what you got. And if you want to do more, do more. If you're not doing enough time with your family or stuff, find out how you can make that time. Enjoy life. Do stuff that makes you happy. And one, like I said, one thing for me, if I see other people are happy, I'm happy. And that's a big thing for me. So if you've got the same sort of thing, then make other people happy. And the world's a much better place. Thanks for watching. And